Hi, it's Zana. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about business and branding and marketing and so, so much more. So for this video, we're going to do something that um, somebody commented on one of my previous videos asking how to do it. So I figured I would film a full video on it and just show you because it is something that I was really confused about when I first joined DistroKid and I also found the same problem with TuneCore as well. So I'm sure no matter which distributor you use, you're going to come across this if you're not from the US because it's international compared to the US. So when it comes to them paying other countries outside of the US, there are obviously tax situations and things that you need to figure out and for the UK and a few other countries, I don't know which other countries because I haven't looked, but some of the countries we have a treaty with the US which means that we pay for the tax from our income in our own country rather than having the US take tax from us as well. So when we earn money through DistroKid or whichever one you're with, they take your earnings and instead of them taking the tax percentage from you in the US, they will give you the full amount of money and then you pay the tax in your country for yourself. So as a business or as a sole trader or whatever it is that you're registered as, you would then pay your tax in your country. So it means that you have to fill out a form and see whether you're a part of the treaty as well because if you're not then I think they hold a certain percentage of your money until whatever form it is that you have to figure out with them before they'll release it or maybe they don't release it I don't know because I haven't obviously I'm from the UK and we have a treaty so I haven't actually looked into that but this video is going to show you how to fill in the form and how to confirm that you're in a country that has the treaty with the US. So I'm actually going to go across to my computer and show you the full form so that we can literally just walk through it together and fill it out, basically. <laughs> so what I did is I went to the DistroKid help desk thing where you can search like the FAQs and everything. I think I just typed it in Google. I was like, how do you, um, how do you fill out the w-a-b-e-n tax form because that's literally what it's called hold on let me show you down here that's what they've called it so i just googled this because i didn't know what the hell that was and how to go about doing it and then it it says up here how to claim tax treaty benefits if applicable to you so it's not applicable uh, it's not applicable to every country but lots of countries are a part of it so it says that up to 30% of your earnings may be subject to tax withholding. So this is when DistroKid would hold on to 30% of your earnings if you haven't filled out this form and if you're not part of the tax treaty. So you can also read more down here for the tax rates if you were to click on this link. And then if you go down here, I don't know why I'm turning the camera, I should just scroll the document. <laughs> that would have made way more sense. Let me put this back up. We can scroll the actual document, one idiot. Anyway, <laughs> so it literally lists the step-by-step -step instructions for you. But I think the thing that um, a lot of people got confused on, which I also got confused on, is where it says foreign tax identification number. And in different countries, we have it called different things. So that's why it can be a little bit confusing. I can't take you into the form because I've already done the form. It won't let me go into the form. So I have to just show you from this little breakdown thing that they've done. But what you do is, oh, actually, maybe I can here. Maybe I just went on the wrong thing. Oh, there we go. So hopefully this works. Let me just try it and see. It worked. So what you then do is follow this and it says distrokid.com slash tax and you go to that form, you um, select your country because it comes up with a box that has different countries. You select your country and then you click next. So that's what I've done and then it will bring up this form and I've had to scroll down because all of my information is there. So it will have your name, your address, all the things that you've already inputted into DistroKid when you joined and then you scroll all the way down 
and you have tax identification, select the option that applies. And this is the part where you need to select foreign tax identification number because you're not from the US. If you're from the US, you could put your US tax identification number. Well, we're not from there. So you put foreign and you would tick that box. And then you would go in here and this is where you put your national insurance number. So in the UK, it's your national insurance number. That is your tax identification number. But we just call it national insurance. They call it tax identification. So that's what you put in there. And then you put your date of birth. And then you have to go all the way down to the bottom. And you enter your full name and finished. And that's literally it. Oh, and you have to certify that it's true. <laughs> So before when I did it, you didn't put in the country, you had to like tick a certain box and all types of weird shit, but it seems like they've changed it. Probably to make it simple. So once you've already submitted your country, you don't need to do anything else. You just have to put in your, um, what's it called? <laughs> it's gone from my head. Your national insurance number in this box. So if we go back to this, it literally shows you the box and that's where you put it. And yeah, you used to have to do this, but it doesn't seem to be there anymore where you have to tick these drop down boxes. And the only option there is the option for your country because you've already selected your country. So, but that doesn't seem to be there anymore. But yeah, if you were to just search the help desk, it literally will show you. But the key thing that people seem to get a little bit confused by is what your foreign tax identification number is. So I just wanted to show you that it's literally your national insurance and you put it in there and now they won't hold any of your money. They will pay it directly to you because they now know that you're a part of the tax treaty. They have your identification number so they know who you are. And yeah, then when you withdraw your money, it will go straight to you without them withholding anything. So that should work no matter what country you're in as long as you're part of the treaty. So I hope that was helpful. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Definitely comment down below if you have anything else that you want me to film because I will do that for you. And you can also check out the description box for links to my music, my phone number, my social media, my merch, my crystal jewellery brand and so, so much more. It's all in the description box box below <laughs> and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because I do upload four times a week and I will see you in the next video bye you could say I love you I can't get enough but I just want you to myself I don't need you when I fuck you need you when you touch me I just want you to myself